Okay. So, who with a quiet hand can tell me what did we do yesterday with our tiles? Real. What we did yesterday with our tiles, we made rectangles out of 18 tiles, and we brought out a new rectangle out of 12 tiles. Right. And when we made rectangles with our tiles, what were we finding? The areas. The area, right? Because we were finding out how many tiles we would use across and how many we used down. Our number was 18, right? Mm -hmm. So if we had 18 tiles, what were some of the arrays that we came up with that would make 18 using our tiles, Madeline? One by eighteen. Um, Jonathan. Um. Three by eighteen. Three by our total is eighteen. So it would have to be three by what? Six. So if we have three tiles here, how many do we need across? We have one. Eight. Five. Six. Six. Six, right? And we would continue that to make 18. So it's six times? Three times six or six times three. So you could either do three tiles down and six across, or you could also do six tiles down and only three across. And you would still come up with 18. Um, what was another one that we did, David? Nine by two. Nine by two. And two by nine. You're right. So those are all ways that we came up with 18. Um, so, who can raise a quiet hand and tell me what a line plot is? Does anybody know what a line plot is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rhiannon, do you know what a line plot is? A line plot is... Um, a plot that you put on the line. Well, so if I gave you a bunch of different um, numbers to make with your tiles, like if I said, I want you to make some tiles of 12, I want you to make a tile using, or a rectangle using 12 tiles, I want you to use a rectangle, you make a rectangle using 13 tiles, 14, 15, 16, you would have to create a bunch of different rectangles using a different amount of numbers, right? Yeah. Um, so if our number was 12, just like we did for the 18, what are some arrays that we create with a number 12? Um, 6 by 3. 6 by 2. 6 by 2. What else? 6 by 2. 1 times 12. 1 times 12. <laughs> What about 12 times 1? Well, that would be the same as this. What's another one? 6 times 2? No, if we're trying to make 12, how many tiles are we going to have to have across four? and down? 4 and 8. Is 8 times 4 12? Four times but 4 three. times 3. 3 is 12, yes. Oh, okay. 3. Okay, and then for our 18, we had... Um, Eight, one, one, one times eighteen, eighteen nine, times nine times two, nine times two, and six times, six times four. three. Right? So if I wanted to uh, make a rectangle using 13 tiles, what numbers would I have under the 13? One, one times 13. Would there be any more than that? No. No, because 13 is an odd number, right? Yep. So it only has itself. It only has the 1 and the 13 that we can use. So a line plot would look like this. And it would have the numbers under it. 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay? So how many different uh, strategies did we come up with under 12? How many rectangles could we make? Three. Three. 
So we would come over to our line plot and we would put three x's and we're going to use x equals one rectangle. So how many 13's did we have? One. one. And then how many 18's did we have? Three. Three. And we could continue this for the 14, 15, 16, and 17 the same way, right? Yeah, because then we could fill in the rest of our line plot depending on how many rectangles we made for each one of those numbers. Um, let's see. So, uh, will you guys all turn to page 21 on your lesson? You have a page that looks like this with a bunch of little boxes. Wait, why do you even need a whiteboard? Um, I'll have you do something on your whiteboard in just a second. I just want to show you this. So this is basically what we just talked about on the board. So if you look at this first box, it says our number of square units was 13, right? So that would have been this one right here. And the width, what does width mean? The... Real. The, the side. And our length is across, right? Mm -hmm. So if we had one by 13, how would that look? But how many tiles would we have? Thirteen. Thirteen on the on the length part, right? Yeah. Because we're only going to have one on the width, so we would do thirteen tiles. Because that's the only one that we can create using 13, with 1 and 13. So 1 would be our width, and 13 would be our length. Okay? So you guys are going to fill in those boxes. You guys are going to use the tiles that you have at your table, and you're going to fill in these boxes. You're going to use your whiteboard to draw them out so that you know which is your width, and which is your length, okay? When you're all finished with these, we're gonna work together on the back page to create your line plot. We're gonna see how many different strategies you can use. So like on this one, there's more than just these three strategies you can use, right? You can change these around so that your width would, instead of six down, would be two, right? And then six. And six, yeah. So you could change that around to two times six. You could change this one to three times four. And then can you change this one? No. Yes. You could, but it would look the other way, right? It would be 12 down for the width instead of across. And three would be one down. So the first thing I want you to do is do page 21. I would like you to use your tiles, and I would like you, once you use your tiles to figure out your array, I want you to draw it out on your whiteboard, and then I want you to fill in each box, okay? Just do that page, and then we will go over the last page of the line plot together. Okay?